Yo, greets and salutations. Welcome, everybody, to the next installment of, you guessed it, Horizon Zero Dawn. As we are getting ready to go head off and talk to Rost. And I think we have the Proving coming up. Um, we'll take a quick look at the questicles. Let's go. Um, Mother's Hearts quest, blah, blah, blah. Talk to Rost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's do that. Where is Rost at? He is 90 plus paces away. But he wants to say thanks for love and support on the channel as always. It is truly greatly appreciated. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this video, man, a like, sub, a comment is always greatly appreciated. But uh, even if uh, you're not happy with it, man, um, go ahead and put that uh, nasty comment in there. But, you know, you'd be a noob if you did because this is free. So, suck it in a very polite and correct way. Okay, where is our brother Rust at? I'm full of rocks. I'm chewing on those damn rocks, man. Aloy. Oh, dude. Man. We must speak. All right, bro. So, it's time. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Yes, I guess. Yes, sir. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. It suddenly changed the day. That's all I was like, I guess everything's oh. bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Hmm, let's see. I'm all set. They'll let me in. Mother's heart. Any last advice? Um, they'll let me in. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. That's what but we got going on. Not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Mm -hmm. What should I expect once I'm inside? And check out that board. There'll be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever Shop seen in one thing place. On his shoulders? I didn't no other that village before. compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred, sacred land. land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. I still would like to know what happened to his wife and his daughter and the fact that they're not here is that why he's like permabanned for life um from the tribe i don't know any final lessons before i head in no you've learned every lesson the wilds have to teach it was you who taught me not the wilds not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there though it is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Seat Answers. at the table. We want a seat at the table, bitch. Time for us to play with the big boys. But yeah, that's, um, I think this is part five. Anyways, yeah, sorry about part one and part two. I don't know why, uh, YouTube is having a hard time, um, rendering those. But man, I had to sit on those things for like three or four days and they're still at 360p. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days. You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. What do we got going on, bruh? Take this, too. Remember. What is this? Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You yeah, should be with the you. tribe. It's the law. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake. I must go where you will never find me. 
this. This is goodbye. Oh, damn. Yeah, because the one thing she wants and has wanted, you know, is to be part of the tribe, but he's banned for life. So when she gets what she wants, it's also exactly what she doesn't want because according to law, she can never talk to him again. So then good riddance, but I will find you. You know, we got to pick that. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. Master has spoken. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May uh, all mother bless you, Eloy. And that's gotta be tough. Because he wants this sword too. But that means he can't talk to her ever again. And the master hasn't taught her everything about the wild. He's like, I have mm. to let him go. For now. Because he's like, first nope. the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Uh huh. Wow. He's like, no, you won't find me. Alrighty, y'all, let's get in here and get busy. Let's get on with this. Do this thing. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. You'll kick rocks. You try that. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Mm. Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. Wow. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Hmm. I tell you, these guys out front, man. And they're lucky that Grandma saved on him, I'm telling you. Brave. Beat that brave, you know what? I'm not kidding about how that stupid here for all mother. Man. I'm sorry, man. That, that is a. Uh, let, let me adjust that real quick for you guys because that is insane. The dun 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 thing. Mm -hmm. Sound effects. Let's kick that down a little bit. Oh, I I really like the soundtrack. But hopefully that does it for the sound effects. Okay, we're back in the green. It's just ticking the yellow. Oh, so you can like really good. Come here, little kid. I'm supposed to greet you. I'm not old enough to talk to you. Oh, okay. Do this every year. Yeah, little bugger. I want to dance. If you go dance, dude. You do that. Such talent. A gift from all of well, Let's see. Can you zoom in to... Nope, that's as far as you can zoom in. Mother's oh, heart, and then we do have a traitor in the back. Hmm. Let's go and scope that out. See if that dude's got any legit wares for us that we can purchase. Like Aloy! Cool it's you, isn't it? Oh, blast. Over here. Yeah. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. 
Whose life I saved? I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. Oh, snap. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Hmm. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. Here we go. Let's go ahead and buy this one. Yep. And then we'll get this freebie. And sell that later. I think we are Gucci. Go ahead and back out of there. We get a free sample box. We will take that. Alright, let's see what this individual has to say. Nope, there. Didn't have those. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, I show. Thank you, Teb. I got my I've outfit. Never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit mm. offers some advantage. Agnum. It's always a trade-off. Excel. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I shouldn't have another. Should I? No. Okay. Let's see. Oh, go on. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. Man, geez. Slow and steady wins the race. Nice. I like the I like the armor. It's a good look. A good look. What is this one? Plus five to fire weave. No, nope. definitely going to put that one in. And then let's go to weapons. And definitely going to throw down on this terror coil. Um, damage coil. Yes, sir. Getting all prepped. Tripcaster. Yeah, I'm just going to throw these in here for right now. Looks like I'm going to be spending hella skill points on, uh, nice. Okay. I think we're good. All right. Hey, all mother uh, be with you. I don't think I should have said that last thing <laughs> or anything before that. I should I'm just glad we got this armor action, so we're good. Uh -oh. Check it out. Let's go. Full story mode. I say this doesn't come with a drink. Some mead, frog, anything like that. The cooks have really outdone themselves this year. I'm on watch tomorrow. Look, I can already feel the headache. Oh, so these I've guys only are had getting three. Well, uh, all right, seven. I could have one more easy. Let me kick this down for you guys a little bit. What is this? Okay. Oh, it is a forest fire. 
true, true. All I know is that we need to go run and find a campfire after getting all of our stuff upgraded. Oh, there's that dude. And, um, yeah, get this new armor. We need to do a quick save. Yoink. Actually, we'll do a hard save. Yoink. Yes, sir. There we go. All right, we Gucci. We Gucci. Let's get to stepping. Jog, get down from there. Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Uh, could you imagine? Carefully what about that down detail? from there? Yes. Now, I'm oh, just what you, you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. All life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. Hmm. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. Mm. Hmm. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. Oh, okay, maybe they this is the fall of civilization with the machines. and terrible. Monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. Mm. And then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from all mother they would not go they gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever the metal devil raged louder than thunder in his fury he came to confront all mother intending to kill her she struck him down forever as you know for his lifeless body is up there still frozen in shame and defeat the machines were driven mad by the death of their king and their minds became as wild as beasts the faithless abandoned their cities forced to wander the world without the care of the machines mm. only we remain the true children of all mother we built all this with the hands that she gave us machines are to be hunted Metal to be used for scrap, for craft, but never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still, the faithless true. envy our sacred land and covet. Okay, it. we gotta get rocking and rolling. And year upon um, year, the machine so was interesting. So, like, one major machine began to kind of like rule the roost. Of course, boss is and turned against the people. Just that a machine among us now. No, no. These old okay. guys are mistaken. Uh, but yeah, we do got to get rock and roll. I got Aloy over here. All right, Listen all right. carefully what you now. Got? Yeah, it's Karst. Well, you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In Come on, old Karst. What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? True. How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Yeah. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Yeah, don't be so cringy. Uh, let's see. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Well, let's just see if you got a free treasure box. You do. Which reminds me, I gotta open up the other one. Thank you, free as always. 
appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I just, I've already just filled up with everything. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that sling caster, but, uh, we're going to take a pass. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. Ooh. World of metal. Oh. Why did you come? So, we gotta get the, heart. the backstory. I thought you preferred the wilds. Oh, Lord. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, then. Time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. Nice. Yeah, definitely when you get the dialogue tree going. Yeah, it definitely gives you a Mass Effect vibe. Mass Effect. Which I like that game, obviously. Epic. Here we go, cutscene. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. The guests. For Huzzah. two years, we have been at peace with the card job. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace, 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 peace. peace. <clears throat> Everybody, peace. Okay. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Uh, hey, hey. Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, nor... Uh, oh. Hold your nor fruit. Nor faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? You? The 14th. You? No, the 14th. Yeah. yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Romans, lend me your hey, ears. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Hmm. Looks like Major Actius has gone too far. The scan with the fucking spider is a thirsty card. No, the card just stands for the goddess to judge. As the sun's light, the path should be left in the path to the man wearing a focus. As those you have nurtured. He's Take wearing focus, just like mine. We You're the only other brave. person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. <sighs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. <clears throat> What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Hmm. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Oh, that likes crap. Weird old jewelry sticks on his Seven face. 11. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. Hmm. Like the speech. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Hmm. 
I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Oh, okay. Red Raids. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora Sorry do about that. that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Hmm. Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among hmm. them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Uh, let's see. How did the raids end? So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the son sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Interesting. Yeah, let's... Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters, what are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's, I mean, been looking to try to get some backstory on this to figure out what, you know, happened and how these machines came to be. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. <laughs> favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Now we got a side quest. Arrangement. You We're almost done, you guys. We're almost more done. dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few yes, more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. Okay. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Now where do those yeah, come from? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Uh, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder who is... Um... Building the bigger, badder machines. I think we got if that. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight. They build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Hmm. So Meridian is like the... Just how big is Meridian? Village. What's it like? Where do I even start? 
My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Hmm. Well, something says that we're going to have to deal with the Karja. Maybe in Horizon 2? 2? Tell I me about know. the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off. Like, they, when a hunter came, okay, so it was... But that. then the derangement starts up and everything changed. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machine... A few more years... Okay. That wasn't... Like a sawtooth. Yeah, 10 years ago. So what's making... I don't know no why they knows. wanted to tell us the story again. We out I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Uh, I should go get blessings. Um, oh, Olin. What yeah. else do you know about Olin? We need to find out well, about that really guy. Is that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the Creeper. wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Okay, I should go I do the I should blessings. make my way to All the right, blessing. Ma'am. Yeah, look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh -oh, you cringe. know what. All right, if you ever cringe. visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. Creeper vibe. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? I won't let the oh. stop me from enjoying okay. the festival. Go to the blessing ceremony. All right. Visible wall. Did you oh, the hell's the blessing ceremony up? I guess Neil, over here. Oh, people. You're not gonna let me through there, people. Who's gonna win the proving? Who cares? I just pray the whole mother no one died this time. Oh, invisible wall again. Okay. What about Bala? She's strong. Blood of a war chief in her. Do we like just take the hard way here or something? Oh, yeah, that's death. Oh, okay. They just want us to take like the roundabout way of getting there. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I am. I'm, I'm doing my best to. Keep this moving, but we got to get some backstory. Really, actually playing this one too. Um, like I said, get the lore, get the backstory. When all aspirants are in place. Um, Verizon too. Okay. Uh, oh. Expecting more tomatoes? Uh, in truth, I. I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, True. we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up or do anything else that angers these people. Okay. Aloy. Take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thank you. Pah, blasphemy, sisters. Shut up, you old hag. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. 
In her honor, that kid. light its flame. That guy. He's just not that guy. He thinks he's that guy, but he's not that guy. Or Rost. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. True, true. true. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Huzzah! Hey. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Hmm, let's see. Okay, questicles. Uh, talk to Olin. Alright. Are we supposed to forget what the Karja did to our tribe? You know, we got to go talk to Olin. I heard he'll ask for a mate okay. blessing if he wins. But not with his girl, but her sister. Imagine. Hello, Olin. You know my name. You meet again? Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to chill, hide. Chill, chill, chill. Where did you find your focus? I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Hmm. Your focus malfunctioned, though. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Yours is yellow. Why are you lying to me? Push it. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. True. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. Mm. I expected more of you. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. Brother That's gotta all. get paid. Brother's gotta get paid. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. Damn. It really isn't. Damn. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> mm. Bast, bast, bast. Okay, this dude Vala? is full She's of strong. sunshine and Light rainbows. Okay, we got to get moving. See you, Olin. Nothing. You people. Make a hole. In my mother's day, the. Yes, your mother's day. Has to get moving. Motherless chuff. Suck it. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. 
That's the closest you're gonna get. Eh. Dude's got issues. Seek counseling. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. Like I said, suck it. <laughs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless uh, outcast. A boy with a small penis. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We get. Okay. We need to confront that. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a tr- Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. I got better armor so than this you. this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. Man, guess that rock damages the brain. You afraid? You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence Opium. is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. It's time that for wing. boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. I Not so. me. Oh, are you going to shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. True. All right, let's see. Uh, go talk to Vala. Okay. Nice job handling Bost. That should eh. keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. He's full of copium. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, Easy. I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. Cool. You're right. I, I like her already. Tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want. Challenge accepted. Okay. Thanks. All right, let's go to bed. Get the show on the road. Sleep. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? I miss Rust. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Uh, let's see. That's not bad. Who could say I hate it? Uh, let's go with not bad. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. All right. Friendship. Positive vibes. Completed main quest. Mother's heart. Yoink. Nice. I'm liking this. Wow. New day's dawn. <laughs> Team is ready for battle. Wow, 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 wow. That's right, step aside, small man. Little penis. That's his new tribal name, small penis. Yep, small penis. Both of them looked at each other. True. Eh. 
Man, the graphics. Braves, ready yourselves. Lit AF. What will it take to get you out of here? Mm. Slapping that grazer. smirk off your face. I already got, we are going to take a pause for the cause right here because we're way past that 30 minute mark and one hour videos take three days to um, do their thing. And so what we'll do is pause right here. Uh, tell you guys the love and support on the channel as always. And um, when we come back, we will take on this challenge. So then, I will and shout with you guys on the other side. Peace.